So this is what happened. So when I was a kid, like we had a candy store at the other end of the block. And, uh, you know, my mom would give me like my lunch money for the day and whatnot. And a lot of times I'd stop at that candy store at the end of the block before I got to school that day. So I ended up buying candy with my lunch money. And then like sometimes after school, I want some candy again. And I beat and spent my money for the day that morning. And one day I was messing around going through my mom's stuff. And I found that she had a little box of change. So I'm like, oh, wow. I go give me a couple candy bars. You know, so I grabbed like, I think the candy bars was like 35 cents back then. I grabbed 70 cents because I was going to go grab me a couple candy bars. Went and got me some, you know what I mean? And I did that a few times. Well, one day, my mom decided to go through her little change box. I guess she would put more in there or something. And she noticed that, you know, she had some change missing. So she came and hollered at me and was like, boy, you been in my change? You been in my silver box? And I'm like, silver box? And she explained to me that the change, the coins that were in there were silver coins. And then she explained me the difference between the coins that we had in circulation then and the silver coins and what those silver coins, what their value was. You know what I mean? So, and this is when I was a kid. I wasn't even in my teens yet. So fast forward to today. So today, here I am. And like, after I walked away from doing the nightclub thing, the after hours thing, um, the thing hit, you know what I'm saying, you know, um, that made everything get shut down, the economy, everything, and I had to figure out, like, okay, what can I do, what can I do during this time that will actually help, not just myself, but help everybody else, what is something that I know that I can bring to the table, and I went back to what my mom taught me about gold and silver and about the coins and whatnot. So I got with my club, you know what I mean? And we start working together. We start investing in silver and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I started telling a few other people that I knew about it, uh, that I knew about, you know, what was going on with the gold and the silver and the economy. And, you know, um, then I started doing more research, start really digging in and then was like, man, well, you know, as a people, there's something that's been missing from our community for a long time. And that's generational wealth. That's the ability to build some wealth and pass it on to our descendants. So, you know, I started thinking, okay, well, I know people that send them to in the real estate. So they're helping over there doing that. I can help over here with the gold and the silver. So that's the thing that led me to it first we started, um, bought the equipment and started minting our own silver and our own gold coins and bars. So, and then, uh, we went from there to just collecting and purchasing other silver and stacking it. And from there, um, into helping different people in the community that wanted to get involved with silver stacking or just preserving building and preserving some type of generational wealth, giving them the opportunity and the way to do it where, you know, it, it wasn't going to be so extremely expensive to do, you know, so, so costly to do. And, uh, from there, you know, so the silver, the gold backs, you know, um, the gold backs, when the gold backs came into play, it was because I was thinking, okay, how can we help people? that are struggling start to get away from a position of struggling knowing that the fiat currency isn't real and that you know it's it's about to bottom out any minute what can I do to help the community save themselves preserve themselves a little bit better financially you know what I mean gold and silver 
Gold and silver is the oldest currency in the world. And the thing is, when all else fails, go back to what's been sound, proven, and true. That's God's money. That's gold and silver. So that's how I got into wanting to, uh, you know, do the um, asset acquisitions, you know, independent asset acquisitions agent. That's what I do. You know what I mean? And I'm an electrician. And I do I do a few things. I wear a few hats. But, you know, when it comes to doing something that I'm doing to help give back to the community, that's what that is. You know what I mean? So, you know, and it's still TDG all day because we touch down getting it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's what it is. <laughs>